everybody, it's Bang Rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of Banished number three. Last time we let off, we were getting stone and stuff, which we're actually going to stop this episode. Let's get right into it now. I did forget to save it at the end of last episode. My mistake, it auto saved, so we basically didn't lose anything. But, uh, yeah, so pretty awesome. Now, I am going to, however, just stop all the stone over here from being taken. We want to stop that. We have plenty of stone. Uh, how much stone? Yeah, we have 217. Honestly, that's plenty. Now, while we do get food right here, and we get a good amount of food, uh, I think we need a bit more. So, we're going to just chop the... Uh, we're going to chop that down because we're going to be building stuff back here anyway. Chop that tree down. It's already ready. And we're actually going to build a, uh, what is it called? A gathering hut. Gathering huts are really good for getting <clears throat> food. So let's get a gathering hut. And let's, can I play? I can place it right here. So very, very useful. Very good. And I will also be placing some roads. Because back here is a good place for building stuff. Uh, it might not look like it, but because it's back here... It's not really bothering our town very much at all, which is kind of good. Gathering that's quite long, so it'll be this long. We can connect them, and then where's the closest place we can just... Should we do just one big line to it? Ah, oh, no, what is it doing? Make a straight line! Ah, there must be a short mountain in the way or something, that sucks. Oh, don't tell me I accidentally put a road. I did. No, no, no. Don't build that road. Don't build it. No, no. Ah, I hate you. I hate you. Take it out. Oh, two roads. Wow, I built those fast. Okay. Gotta do that sometimes. All right. So, is it done the hut? No. Almost. We'll take a person out of the... No, we'll leave the three people in the building. Take them out later. And we actually also need a trading post. We're doing a lot this episode. Because tr trading is fantastic and it just is amazing so let's get a trading post uh roads got i need to remember where these are at and put a road in and then right off this right back to the trading post there we go fantastic so also we can build a barn now which we were going to last episode so nope but like that We'll place that there. We already have food. No food, no. Food. All right, there we go. Place two more in there. And we'll take one person off. Become a laborer just in case we lose someone or something. All right, so hopefully we don't lose anyone, but you never know. All right, what is this? Food and food. So when this builds, hopefully we will have people will come by. And if we need food... We can trade it, and at the beginning, we're probably going to trade a good bit um, of stone, stuff like that, to get started up. So, with the people, that is, because it's now uh, winter, nobody will be working on the farm. So, I'm going to have them cut all of these trees down, and stone, and iron, and get all that good, good stuff. Alright, so, food is, is it still low? Berries and stuff, we are getting some of those, which is really good. How many? We still, yeah, we have four herbalists. And let's increase it to 25,000 because we never really want to hit that cap. Because if we hit the cap, we could lose it. And I would, I would like not to have that happen. All right. So here we go. Uh, sweet child was born. And I would also, let's see if we can do this. Where is it? Uh, it's here. Let's also get a map in and we can now see the map, where we are going, and what it looks like so this is how big our map was with a nice little basin over here which is pretty cool i like that all right so no one has died yet from any reason so that's cool and these roads are now being built perfect people will be able to get to the trading post fast and nice now how do we get the how do we get the road to this because apparently it's it's kind of broken okay uh we could use a town hall, which we were talking about building last episode. So, we said it would be perfect right here. Would you look at that? It is. It's dead on perfect. We can place that there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no, I don't want this. 
There we go. Fantastic. So we can place that there. It work fine and be awesome. So people are being born. Now we would also, well, we won't also, we need a schoolhouse because school, while it uh, makes your people, because right now, as soon as your people hit the age of 10, they become a worker. You can put them into anything. But they aren't as fast. If they're schooled, they're much, much faster and they're a lot more productive and it's just better all around so people need to uh get back to work so let's just cut all of what they're doing over here out make sure they're not working on that anymore they're working on the other more important things like food and these people hit their cap uh eh, should we set it to 500 let's set it to 750 just in case there we go and Oh, that's a lot of logs that just got taken out of there. To oh my gosh. Lots of stone. Holy crap. Didn't realize it took that much, but I guess it'll be worth it, really. Alright, so, well, we can, we can see the ages of people, and it's a lot better. Alright. So this is almost done. Let's leave all the builders on it. Uh, we do have someone in the trade post, right? Yes. And we'll just take this down to one, because I usually only have one, maybe two, if I uh, have an abundance of people. And people will actually start coming probably from this way, have their little ship come along here, right into the trading post, which is really cool. Alright, is Town Hall done? Almost done here. Be a second. And then, as you see up here, average house of, eh, average health of citizens that is terrible so let's have a hospital somewhere so cemetery no uh, chapel no what is this logs logs need to be working faster we have three people on them uh, we'll take a couple people off the builders now that they're done let's just have one builder because a builder isn't really you know we don't really need need a builder is this for food I'm guessing no logs and logs Food must be uh, quite good then. Yeah, we have a good bit of food there. Harvesting it all right now, plus herbs. We're really good on the food. Okay, so let's increase this. What is that? Reserves on food is low. We just got... We are getting food now. What is going on? Okay. Alright, what can we... S oh, also this tells us what uh time it is so right now it's early autumn then it'll become autumn then late autumn and then winter so that really helps for crops and stuff like that so that'll be that'll be nice to know these both have hit their max which is impressive what else ah hospital hospital is really good and we need to get one of these all right so hospital they're somewhat expensive actually but they're kind of small so we can probably put a hospital here and if we put one here we could put a schoolhouse ah we can easily put a schoolhouse they're much cheaper so let's let's build a schoolhouse there right next to the town hall which is a good place for it and what we can also do is now we can have a road let's have a road because there were there's probably not going to be anything here so what we'll do is, we will, should we take the road right here? Yeah, let's put the road there, that'll be fine. And if we have to, we can probably even fit houses right here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we can even fit houses there, perfectly actually. Oh no, we have, we have space in the back, even better, to uh, put more. So that's cool, that'll get with the dirt roads, they'll get going with those, and see if we can take this those resources out again as well as let's switch to stone and get those hopefully we can get a lot of those by winter and so many people just were able to uh, become a laborer just all at once holy crap so that means we're probably going to need more houses here in a second which isn't that hard we can put houses back to back to back to back and uh, expand probably over here because our uh, trading post goes far, so we can have a ton of houses, like four rows of houses, which would be pretty awesome. Alright, so, let's see what else we can do here while it's summer. 
so I'm hoping that yeah the school is almost done now my problem is when I have the school will the people go from wait what an outbreak oh that's not good that's not healthy that's not that's not healthy that's not healthy at all all right so let's build a hospital because apparently we should probably have one by now yeah I knew that one was coming, but didn't want to, didn't want to admit it. All right, so let's build a hospital. Build that now. Build it, build it, build it, build it. As well as a herbalist, because apparently herbalists help with uh, doing stuff. Uses, uh, used to gather herbs to bribe simple healing for citizens. So yeah, these people somehow help with healing. Don't know how, because it's herbs, but they do. So let's build a herbalist right there because we have the people to uh, collected all of that because we have so many people to work and put stuff on. So build those, build those now. Our stockpile of stuff, however, is very fast going down. And yeah, good thing that we have seven people. We can go over here and probably collect all of the stone within a very, very tiny time. I just watched trees fall, which doesn't make sense because I have no one over there, but whatever. <laughs> So, yay! So, all of these people, let's put, let's give them three, four builders for now, which will take away when they're done. This will just help them go faster. And uh, I'm thinking about also clearing the, this out up here, because we can put more stuff up here, which would be cool. Probably expand the farm this way and this way as well so that'll be really cool i'm surprised no one has come down though for the uh the trading which is impressive um i'd expect them to come down by now but they will definitely be coming really fast later when we have a whole bunch of stuff the more you get into the game the faster they come so let's put the two herbalists that can work there there this is almost done so we'll be able to take this off you can subtract those and one more there we go so that the one hospital per oh and bang someone just came awesome so what do they have here they have logs berries firewood i mean that's good but i was really hoping for more of uh more of what's it called animals animals are really good and basically is what you need to build a past or pastor uh i think that's what they're called Hunting cab and fishing dog. Yeah, pasture. Um, so no, we'll send these people away. With t oh no, yay! <laughs> They're actually not the inventory trade. So they have peaches and fish. Um, they're one each. Um, I don't think we really need food right now, so I'm gonna send them away. I think we're good on the food. So let's get them out of there. They'll go to some other town that we don't need them. We don't need them. Go to some other town. As well as, it's really cool, after you've played the game for a while, you'll start to get nomads coming into your town that are one into your town, and it's awesome. Now it is summer, which means they still got late summer, early autumn, and a whole bunch of other seasons to go, till it's winter. So they harvested really early, and uh, it's actually really good. That means I'm pretty sure, if not, it's definite that uh, we don't have to worry about stuff like that. Worry about food and harvesting with tinier, uh, tinier things. So it will be summer here soon, and they're not planting again. So get all of that stone, get all that too. So they should be able to get all of that stone, and we shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, what else could we build? So we have a schoolhouse, we have a hospital for people, and yeah. So we could build a quarry. We might need this as well. I feel like we just need to expand our farm a bit right now though because farms are really useful they help a lot so let's just expand our farm here just one extra out don't even have to wait for people to build them just automatic which is really cool and now on up three cabbage cabbage and cabbage now we'll take our roads and go around here all the way around the back that and boom boom there we go so those will get built we only have one person what happened to everybody i wonder 
So, people were born, they arrived. Oh, yeah, duh, we just put people, we just put them in to this place. So, that should be fine. Now, let's also take the resources around our, uh, our building out, all these logs and everything. Just make it look a lot nicer around our place during this cold, cold winter. You actually also in this uh, in this game you need to make sure they have coats and stuff like that like this and it's really cool but to get better coats you need a pasture so it's it's a really simple but super hard game we're doing good right now but I'm afraid soon people will start dying and we will start crying but that hasn't happened yet and I will see you guys next time to see if it happens next episode and it's the end yes it's the end of the episode no one died I would like to say that's a plus but it's sad that you have to worry about people dying in a nice little lovely town became a student how many people are in the students two oh my gosh two students they must be getting some super private uh private knowledge because two students one teacher come on wish that happened to me and uh yeah i guess so see you next episode like comment right subscribe if you did and as always i'm a rainbow you're beautiful and stay colorful i will see you next time yeah.